How's it going guys, this is Tactics HD here bringing the final episode of my NHL 12 Billion Dynasty series. Um, in this series we're using the Toronto Maple Leafs and right here at the beginning of the season you can see we have a pretty good team. Like uh, if you remember the last episode we have an all 100 overall team. And right here we're at the all-star break with a positive record and I'm pretty sure the only player on our team that made the all-star game was Phil Kessel. I believe he made it last year too so he made it in back-to-back -back years. I can kind of see all the other players that made it. It looks like all the young stars right now which is kind of cool. So in 10 years, they're all going to be like the Super All-Stars. Uh, we're here at the trade deadline, and I'm trading Nikolai Kuhlman for a 5th round draft pick, simply because he has a $5 million salary, and I need to clear up some space to add some Superstars. And Kuhlman's only an 81 overall sniper, and like, if you have an 81 overall sniper, usually he's, uh, <laughs> sorry, if you have a sniper, usually you want him to be better than 81, because you want him to play your top line. Kuhlman's only on the 3rd line, and I want like a grinder. Also right here, I'm getting a better center. I'm playing, I'm uh, trading Kadri in a 1st round draft pick for Lone Couture. Uh, Couture is 3 overall higher, and you know, he won a cup with us, uh, what, 2 or 3 years ago in this, so I figured I might as well go get him, plus he's the same salary. Um, after that, I wanted a better uh, left winger to play on the top line with Couture and Kessel, as well I need a left wing to replace Kuhlman. So, I decided to go out and trade for Louis Erickson, as well as a 3rd line left winger, he was like 81 overall grinder, I believe, or power forward. And I traded them Solomaki, 87 overall playmaker, a prospect defenseman, and 3 first round draft picks. Um, the reason I traded three first round draft picks is because this is the last year and I want to make sure the deal's done. So right there you can see is my team after the trade deadline. And we are going to be going into the second half of the season. And we're looking pretty good. So, uh, right here's the end of the season. We're finished, uh, 46, uh, 46, 29, and 7. Right there's the Western Conference, uh, standings. Right here's the Eastern Conference standings. It's pretty cool too, because the first place team is the first team I was a GM for, the Jets. Second place, Philly. Second team I was a GM for, and third place, Toronto. The third team I was a GM for, so I thought that was pretty cool. And um, after that, I just simmed the playoffs. And the first team we played in the playoffs was the Washington Capitals. And um, they had a record of 44-30-8. So we were a better team than them during the regular season. Figured I'd probably beat them. And um, we actually had a low, uh, sorry, slow start. We went 0-3 in our first three games against them. And after the first three games, we actually did manage to get a win, which was good. I thought there was some hope there. And after we got the first win, we actually managed to get a second win. And um, after the second one, I was like, wow, we might make a comeback here. But we lost in the sixth game. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, what are you going to do? Right here you can see the thing saying congratulations on a good 10 years being a GM. Uh, you won the Stanley Cup one time. You completed like 157 tasks. Uh, you are GM three teams, whatever. And um, I just want to take this time, guys, to say thank you for supporting this series. I really enjoyed doing it, and it seems like you guys really enjoyed watching it. Um, you can stay tuned for another series. Um, I'm probably going to start a new building a GM mode in the winter. So because uh, Mario for 3 comes out in a week and a half, and I'm probably going to be focusing on that. And I'm hopefully all of you guys play that game, so I'll be interested in that content. And um, I'm probably going to call the new series Building Another Dynasty. That way I don't have to like do like 2A or something stupid like that. And I also wanted to say, guys, that um, in regards to my Machinima Sports videos, have you guys seen any of them? Um, they were a fantasy GM mode series. Please go check them out if you haven't. There'll be a link in the description. And as of right now, I can no longer post any more Machinima Sports videos. Um, there's a whole thing with, like, premier directors only allowed to support, uh, post videos on Mishima now. And I'm not a premier director. So, basically, I want, what I want you guys to do is, if you enjoyed this series, go on one of those videos and say, we want more tactics or something. And hopefully, Mishima people will see that and allow me to post videos again on Mishima. But, uh, there will be a big change on my channel, which is the positive. Um, as well, guys, I will have a Call of Duty montage coming out this Tuesday, hopefully, the 1st of November. So, if you guys will be interested in that, uh, be sure to check it out. As well, um, in between the time of this uh, video and the new uh, building, a G building a GM mode series, I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to keep doing the NHL 12 Road to Glory. I'm going to be doing live shootout commentaries. I'm going to be making a shootout montage. And I might even throw an NHL tournament where, uh, you know, we have a whole bunch of people play on certain days or maybe even certain hours. And maybe there's a prize for the winner. I don't know. Just throwing it out there. But besides that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope you guys enjoyed the series. Stay tuned to my channel. Thanks for being awesome subscribers, awesome fans. Besides that, guys, just have a nice day. Follow me on Twitter. You'll be the first one to know when I'm holding an open lobby or tournament, and it's an easy way to talk to me.